Hi guys and welcome back to the second part of this video when I'm gonna test this preamplifier which I built in a previous video and we're gonna run some audio test and uh, some oscilloscope test to see how properly it's doing so without further ado let's jump to my working bench and uh, connect all these uh, wires and uh, try to do some to run some tests So for the sound test I was gonna use uh, my uh, single-ended uh, class A amplifier, my own design and you can see it's come better because uh, the first uh, step was testing on that breadboard and was running really nice I was impressed with the sound and this was the first version which uh, I ran away on some issues like thermal runaway because uh, from the moment that I was powering on and then the moment that uh, the transistor was getting fully warm was giving me like um, 80 millivolts of DC offset on the output so I scratched my head around it and I come with the DC servo to fix that issue and uh, this is the final version of the amplifier so you can see here I add uh, another two outputs transistor this is the op amp that is doing the DC servo which is controlling the output to keep always uh, on zero volt on the output uh -huh. even if it's cold even if it's warm and it's running really nice. So let's give a test on how the test with this type of amplifier. So first step, I'm gonna run a sample sound uh, without preamplifier with this amplifier. And let's see how it sounds. Then I'm gonna connect the preamplifier and we're gonna pass the same sample of the sound through the preamplifier and to see if there is any difference on it. Because this is what we need, a preamplifier that uh, make the sound better, definitely. So let's run a sample uh, sound test with our preamplifier. So we have the microphones in the front of the speakers. Now let's prepare the sound test and uh, play it. So I connected already my preamplifier to the amplifier, so I'm gonna inject the signal through the preamplifier and then from the preamplifier to the amplifier. I'm gonna play the same song, so let's see if there is anything changing.
if you can hear any difference in sound but definitely here I can hear that the treble the highs are more crisp and clear and definitely improve also the sound stage is more wider anyway let's see also the oscilloscope what says about these preamplifiers I'm gonna connect the power I have already load 50k potentiometer and we're gonna connect to the oscilloscope, we're gonna inject some uh, signal and we're gonna see how this uh, preamplifier performs under the oscilloscope. So I set up my signal generator to 1 kilohertz uh, sine wave and I have only 100 millivolts RMS and it's putting out 600 millivolts RMS. This means it's five times uh, multiplying the signal, amplifying the signal. So let's see up to clipping to see how many volts RMS is putting out on, on clipping. So let me do an auto set over there. So right now we are in 6 volts RMS and it's already clipping. So this is the total RMS on 50k load. So it's a total of uh, 7 volts RMS. It is really good for a preamplifier. Now let's see the frequency response. I'm gonna set up on uh, 500 millivolts over here and we're gonna go to auto set and we're gonna work with the frequency. So let's start with 25 uh, kilohertz to see from 25 kilohertz uh, back down how it's doing. So 25 kilohertz we have uh, 2.9 volts RMS on the output so let's go to 20 on 20 we have 3 volts RMS on the output 2.9 same let's see 15 15 kilohertz we are in the same voltage 3 volts RMS let's do an auto set also here then let's go to 10 kilohertz right now 10 kilohertz we are in the same range 3 volts RMS so until here it's all flat let's see 5 kilohertz 5 kilohertz I need to do an auto set so 5 kilohertz we're in the same 3 volts RMS output let's see 1 kilohertz and we give an auto set as well and we have same 3 volts RMS on the output let's see now 500 hertz we have uh, 3.1 so looks like uh, is amplifying more the the low frequency just a little bit not that much let's go to 100 hertz and in 100 hertz we are on uh, 3.08 let's go now to 50 hertz auto set and we are in 3.09 3.06 and let's see down to 20 hertz we are in the same range 3 volts rms and 20 and 10 hertz let's see 10 hertz let me give an auto set and 10 hertz also is doing 2.5 so yeah so it's amplifying from 20 to 22 i believe it's the flat flat uh, frequency response let's try to inject also uh, one kilohertz uh, square wave so let me press square wave and let's do auto set let's see how the square wave is on this one. Oh, looking good looking really good let's lower to 500 hertz looking also good in 500 hertz 100 hertz let me do an auto set 100 hertz we expecting to do that one and uh, let's go to 50 hertz 50 hertz yeah it's quite good and 20 hertz pretty good let's see now 10 kilohertz what about 10 kilohertz how oh, we're gonna look our square wave in 10 kilohertz 10 kilohertz square wave looking good and let's bump up to 30 kilohertz let's see how looks the square wave in 30 kilohertz yeah looks not that much pretty it's a bit curving on the on the top and on the bottom you can see the line is not properly straight but anyway whatever is doing is doing right and i'm really impressed with so maybe now it's time to look for some film capacitor to change those 5.6 picofarads because definitely it's promising this preamplifier so yeah i'm really impressed with this preamplifier it's a little thing but it's doing really well so i'm gonna look to find film capacitors instead of this uh, ceramic here the 5.6 picofarads and if i'm gonna find some i'm gonna buy and uh, definitely i'm gonna change them and uh, yeah let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this preamplifier the only thing is what is down because they put the output here and the capacitors there and it's really hard if i use like how is now i'm gonna be hard to connect the wires over there but uh, i'm gonna see maybe i'm gonna do the power supply separately and in 
enclosed, like isolated with the aluminium in, in, around to avoid uh, any noise from the transformer. And I'm gonna come just straight away with DC voltage on the preamplifier. And then stay tuned, please subscribe, activate the notification bell because I still have uh, to test another that is with the op amp preamplifier here. It's the same uh, powering with dual voltage, the dual ray power supply. Then I have another one, which has also corrected the tone that I need to test it to see how it's working. Because this one, I bought them like that already assembled. So this one involves two op amps over there. And we have a little, little, little one. Same with one op amp over there that I need to test. And I'm gonna have another one as a kit that I need to build it up and then try to test it to see how it's working. And this one has also the uh, tone correction to potentiometer for treble and bass. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like. And until the next video, guys, have a good day and bye-bye!